Hey friends, welcome to FX Yogi. In today's video, let's learn a little bit on what is a pip. The unit of measurement to express the change in value between two currencies is called a pip. If Euro USD currency pair moves from 1.1050 to 1.1051, that 0.0001 USD rise is 1 pip. A pip is usually the last decimal place of a price code. Most pairs go out up to 4 decimal places, but there are some exceptional cases like the Japanese N pairs. They go out to 2 decimal places. For example, for a Euro USD pair, it is 0 0.0001 and for a USD Japanese yen pair it is 0 0.01. What is a pipity? There are forex brokers that code currency pairs beyond the standard 4 and 2 decimal places to 5 and 3 decimal places. They are coding fractional pips also called points or pipits. For instance in Great Britain Pound, USD pair moves from 1.30542 to 1.30543, that 0.00001 USD move higher is called 1 pipit. Here's how fractional pips look like on a trading platform. How to calculate the value of a pip? As each country has its own relative value, it is necessary to calculate the value of a pip for the particular currency pace. In the following example, we will use a quote with four decimal places. In the example, we are using the USD and the Canadian dollar currency pair at the rate of 1.0200. To be read is 1 USD to 1.0200 Canadian dollar or it should be read as 1 USD by 1.0200 Canadian dollar. The value change in counter currency times the exchange rate ratio is equal to the pip value in terms of the base currency that is 0 0.0001 Canadian dollar into 1 USD by 1.0 200 Canadian dollar on calculating the value is derived to be 0 0.00009804 USD per unit traded. Using this example, if we traded 10,000 units of USD Canadian dollar currency pair, then one pip change to the exchange rate would be approximately 0.98 USD change in the position value that would be 10,000 units into 0.00009804 USD per unit. Hope you understood what PIP is. In our next video, let's get into more details. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.